Hello everyone, this video is about storms and before we start off, let us pray first. Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this message and please help us to understand and obey your message. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. So, I live in the Philippines, and there is a storm every week that is passing by here. And I, it's uh, usually in the summertime, it, there is a, some storms. But it is very sad because there is a lot of flooding happening. And uh, many people's houses are destroyed, or uh, some people they cannot go to work, students cannot go to school and learn because there is flooding, uh, there, there's storm in our country. And so I prayed to Father God what cause the storm to come into our country and what can we do to stop the storms and this is what father god said to me to all filipinos in the philippines there is so much sinful people in your country many don't like discipline nor want to listen and obey my laws you ask for mercy and promise me that you will change your evil ways. But I don't see any sincere, humble repentance by you all. So many people wonder, why does God allow so many storms to hit our country, destroy our houses? Many are injured, some killed. It's because you will not listen and obey me. So I allow Satan and his devils to destroy your country until you learn to sincerely humble yourself, admit your sins, and repent. Those who ask for my will, listen, and obey me, I will protect them from all harm. But those who choose to do their own will, and continue to be prideful not admitting their mistakes will go through many hardships and sufferings in their life that was what father god told me to share to all not only to filipinos in the philippines but all over the world in the Philippines were just being hit every week by a storm and so that is the solution is that we humble ourselves admit that we are wrong we are sinners and stop our evil habits and do good do God's will that's all what Jesus Christ wants us to do and it is possible. No matter how hard you think it might be, it's possible. As long as we stick to Jesus Christ, to the Holy Spirit, listen and obey, every day it's possible. Everything with God is possible. So that is the end of this message. Uh, may Father God, Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ give you the love and peace of Jesus Christ in your heart. In Jesus Christ's name.